Well, I considered the testimony from Detective Cresa under revised code 2937.222. That includes the nature and circumstances of the offense charge. This is the most serious offense in that it's a felony, an unclassified uh, felony offense of murder. And uh, so I have considered that. I have considered that this is an offense of violence and the offense does involve alcohol. There is video evidence of the defendant and the alleged victim um, drinking in a local bar. Uh, that was the testimony. I have also considered the weight of the evidence accused. I find that the weight of the evidence against the accused is great. Um, there, uh, the testimony uh, indicated that there were uh, local callers regarding the gunshots um, and the police investigation uh, revealed that the defendant was seen fleeing um, the scene. Um, there is an eyewitness that says that the defendant was putting a firearm in his waistband um, while jumping over the guardrail um, in the back of the uh, downtown Willoughby area. Uh, so I considered that considered the offense itself, the delay in the two shots. I've considered uh, the history and characteristics of the accused. There is no uh, evidence before this court regarding um, prior criminal convictions. Um, so it, it appears that there is there are no convictions on his criminal history. However, there are reports that were located um, and there was a weapons charge that was expunged or sealed by another court, um, indicating that the defendant possessed a firearm, first of all, under the legal age, which one can possess a firearm in that particular case, um, but that he did in fact uh, have a gun. And then there are other instances of conduct where uh, the defendant has threatened others with a firearm. So I have to consider that. There is no um, no indication that the defendant was on any uh, kind of court supervision at the time of this offense. Um, I consider the ties to the community. It appears this defendant does have ties to this community. However, he fled the area <coughs> right after this offense occurred and uh, fled the state. And so uh, that is of utmost concern, uh, not only leaving the leaving Lake County, but leaving the state of Ohio. I consider the nature and seriousness of, uh, of the danger to any person or the community that would be posed by this defendant's release. I find that that is great, that there is a risk of harm to the community. Um, I'm finding that the accused does pose a substantial risk of serious physical harm and finding by clear and convincing evidence that there's no conditions of release that would reasonably assure the safety of this person in the community who's going to be held without bond. Is there anything else, Mr. Perez? No, Your Honor. Anything additional, Mr. Blake? No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you.